Hello everyone and welcome back to another London vlog. I've been making these little videos over the last year and you guys have really enjoyed seeing what I get up to when I visit the city. I'm based in Bournemouth so it's about two hours into London and I absolutely love doing a little London staycation. I'm actually bringing my mum along with me today. So my mum and I are having a girly little break one night in a hotel in a place called the Treehouse London which I found on Instagram and I was absolutely obsessed the minute I saw it. it looks beautiful right up our street but the best part is is that it's dog friendly meaning we can bring Bonnie with us so she'll be coming on the train if you're new my name is Brogan my mum is Julie and my dog Bonnie is a little cocker spaniel so you're gonna enjoy the three of us seeing what it's like to take Bonnie on the train for the first time and into London we have no plans we're just gonna completely wing it see how we get on see what it's like see how Bonnie is and just enjoy a little bit of quality time together so so I'm really excited about it. I know my mum is equally as excited because she sent me loads of photos of the food she's packed and the snacks and the breakfast we're going to have on the train this morning. Um, so I'm really excited about that. But also, speaking of being on the train this morning, today's video is very kindly sponsored by Readly, who are the perfect app for whenever I have to travel. They are a magazine subscription app with over 5,000 different magazine titles to choose from. I have loved them for a really long time now. And if you haven't tried Readly I actually have an exclusive link and offer for you it's $9.99 a month but you can get six weeks for free if you click the link in the description you can give it a go see what you think you can cancel at any time and it's a really really fantastic way to just enjoy so many different magazines so whatever your hobbies taste style is there is a variety of titles from home fashion travel i love your dog i love happy full cosmo um ha mental health and health and well-being magazines love the home and interior titles as well so this is what mine is currently looking like as you can see i have a huge variety you can actually download titles you can save individual pages and recipes you can have up to five people on the same account so they can have their own accounts to save their own magazines love your dog and what's really nice actually is you can click in you can see the ones you've read and downloaded and then you can also read it um, sideways like this like an actual magazine and flick through the pages or you can read it portrait and it's bigger and it, you can zoom in on things, you can, like I said, save pages. It's absolutely brilliant. At Christmas, we went to the Cotswolds, and so I just searched Cotswolds, and there was a whole magazine called Cotswolds Life. As I'm sure you can imagine, I loved reading this at Christmas. So you can actually search by individual words. Um, so we're going to Florida, so I can actually look at uh, international titles, and I can type in America, and if that's your thing, then there's loads of titles for different sports and home just really interesting like my brother has an account on here so does Benj and there's just such a huge variety of titles on the home page as you can see it recommends titles for you so we've got things like Cosmo obviously that I love Reader's Digest Countryside there are so many amazing titles I really really love it they even have newspapers if you want to read the, the latest newspapers you can do that um, but I really really enjoy it and I used it when I traveled to Mallorca um, and I read some titles on the plane and I'm going to do the same later this month when we travel again But this morning my mum has to do some work after we've eaten our breakfast So she'll be emailing away on her phone and I am not gonna this morning I'm gonna be flicking through some of my favorite magazines and enjoying that downtime on the train So I absolutely love having really in my life. I think it's well worth the money I do actually pay for it myself as a customer even though they're kindly sponsoring today But do check it out if you're interested like I said the link to get six weeks for free is in the description description for you and yeah let's head on up to London it's gonna be a really lovely day so normally for this kind of trip I'd either take a small overnight bag or a little mini suitcase but I'm actually deciding to take a rucksack today just because I wanted my hands to be free as I'm gonna have Bonnie in one hand and then I'm gonna need my other hand for my phone and my cards to you know tap in or pay for things and stuff so I thought it would be better to have a rucksack so it is quite big but obviously I have my stuff and I have everything for Bonnie. I also have a bottle of wine because, you know, girls trip and some snacks and my makeup and all sorts. So yeah, it looks excessive like this, but once it's on my back, it'll be fine. And then I have this cute little bag. Actually, this bag and this jumper are new from Stitch Fix 
got them recently and my jeans were also stitch fix oh my gosh i love them they're the jewel the jeans were jewels um and the top is um one of their own brands called and et i love it i have a little bit of time so i'm actually going to give bonnie a nice long walk it's only an hour and 45 two hours on the train um but i just want to make sure she's like done all her business and she'll be comfortable to sleep so we're going to give her a walk first and then we'll be heading to my mum's house 9 30. yeah platform one we're at the train station, we've parked the car. Oh, oh, she's right next to you. Oh. <laughs> no, it's okay, I can multitask. So, oh, oh, Bonnie's never been on the train before, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Hopefully she sleeps, but we've got some snacks and we haven't been up to London together in ages. Gosh, no, when was the last time? The Stacey Solomon thing. Oh, wow, yeah. Maybe your birthday for sketch. Yeah, no, I think Stacey Solomon was the last one. It was right. just before, just before lockdown. That would have been 2019. Wow. It's been a while. Oh, nice and quiet. Quite cold though. Do wish I'd packed some gloves, but never mind. Being a very good girl, Bonnie. She knows she's going somewhere. I was just saying to mum that this morning she normally goes left or right for our dog walks, but this morning she stopped and looked at the car, so she knew we were going. Yes. Come on in. Good girl. Right, Bonnie is now sitting down there under the table, so she's got her little bed and she will settle eventually. And mum has pulled out on all the food. I told you we've got a selection. This is amazing, thank you so much. Got some melon, we've got hot cross bun in there. She has been as good as gold, sat under the table the whole time. <laughs> Such a good girl. Ready for London. Cheers. <laughs> so we chose to do a taxi just because we thought there'd be more room for her. I'm going to go straight to the hotel and see if we can dump my massive rucksack. That went really quick, didn't it? Is it because we were just chatting? Yeah, I think so. We're doing a bit of chatting. And she was as good as gold. She just stayed on the floor she under did, the seat. It's really sweet. It was really sweet. Benji and I have this little blanket. As you know, it's from Zara ages ago. And she just knows that if I tell her to sit in her bed, she just sits in it. It's so good. But obviously you've got loads of different parks that we can walk around as well that we have I've obviously never really walked around before. This is the journey. And then up here is Regent's Park, Hyde Park, and then St. James's Park. So there's like loads of green space. They give to the park. Yeah. All right, so we've arrived. Oh, how fun is this? That's really nice. We've arrived. We're gonna see if they'll let us check in, but if not, we just wanna dump our bags. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Oh my God, look at the view. Wow. So we go to 15 for the check-in. She said our room is on 14, but it's not ready yet. I don't know what is in one to eight. I guess there must be offices What's or something. But that's the name of the restaurant. Oh. But look at, look at all the details, like the anti-back thing. It's all meant to be, you know, wood, wood treehouse themed. It's great, it's really pretty. And it's look, they've so got the nice. timber in here. Yeah. I love it. Um, is this it? Yeah. yeah. Right, we've been walking about 20 minutes. She's sniffed every single lamp post and bush and i think she's enjoying it for lunch we're going to one of our absolute favorites which is shake shack it always reminds me of new york when i'm with mum because this is where we had our last meal um but i think they let dogs in i always get the shack burger and chips and the fresh lemonade but they do change out the lemonades if you've watched my vlogs before they just have such great burgers and you can see them all making it here and then they'll you just pick it up and take it to your table Mum's over in the corner with Bonnie. And yeah, I just love it in here. I love the fact they let dogs in. They actually do sell dog things, let me show you. So they do have a couple of dog treats. So you can buy like a red velvet dog biscuit thing or a bag of five. All right, here we go. We've got our shack burger and chips. Lovely, lovely. Instagram mum. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just going to 
John. <laughs> Jealous of your burger. He loves to shake that, doesn't he? I've got a fresh lemonade and mum's given up her coat so that Bonnie can have a bed. So we're just walking down Tottenham Court Road and I want to show you guys this. It's Monopoly life-sized and they have a full venue here where you can actually play a version of the game. They have a restaurant as well. It just looks really cool and you can come visit the bar but also they have rooms to play the games. Oh my gosh, honestly, check it out if you're interested and let me know if any of you have done this yet because I feel like that's something Benji and I would like. So we didn't do any research into what was dog friendly. I just knew that Shake Shack was because they sold dog stuff. We did double check before we went in. Oh, West Elm, you'll love this one, Mum. Looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, really pretty. We might have to go in there one at a time. So we just thought we'd go to one of the parks, basically. So we're going to walk down there 30 minutes to Regent's Park. And we're just oh. window browsing, aren't we? Oh, wow. Yeah, that's lovely. Look at that for a shop. I love coming up to London when I don't have to like be many places, you know, like just enjoying walking around. This is Tottenham Court Road. It's actually not too busy. Like, all the streets are exactly like this. So loads of space to walk Bonnie. Oh, I just need to, I got her in a harness because I thought it was more comfortable for her and I've got her on a short lead, but she's been so good. Mum's gone into this shop. Look at this, this shop is absolutely epic. I wish I could show you properly, but can you see the books? Oh my god, and then what is that? Oh, you can get inside. Uh, Show me... us the inside of oh, the... Oh, you've got to see this, wait a minute. So look, it's like a capsule. Oh And my it's gosh. all quilted and like, oh, it's absolutely incredible inside. Oh wow, look Lit at the inside. Lit up onyx table. That is so yeah. cool. It's a British designer. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know how much that cost, but it's uh, called Apollo and there's a little bit of wording about it, about the moon landing. Oh wow. So we're in another little home shop. It's actually the same um, designer, Tim Timothy Alston, Ol Alton. And um, <laughs> this is literally mum's dream. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Is it just dreamy? It's like, a well, it's like getting into a <laughs> duvet. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the design of the oh. TV and the fireplace. Table. Gosh, it's stunning. So we're just passing a uh, an Amazon Fresh store and I've never been in one of these before. You just literally open up your Amazon account app and then you scan it in at the gate and then you just walk out when you've got everything you want. It's so clever. So I thought I'd give it a go and we'll see what it's like. <laughs> so just in case you're interested, this is how you do it. It was very, very easy. So I'm just gonna scan in. This is so clever. So I'm in. I've got bakery section. I think I'm gonna get us a cookie each. I think she'll like a cookie. Yeah. They've got loads of pre-made sandwiches and salads. Wow. Okay, it's just like a normal supermarket, but you can actually just grab your, what you need and leave. I just wondered if they had anything other than like, oh, they've got the pickup thing. Um, anything other than just food, but it looks like it's just a lot of food. They have got a few brands I've just never seen in like normal supermarkets obviously because they have their own stuff, meats, some fish. Right, and then do we just leave and that's really it? Is it really gonna know? Thanks. Just like that, we're out. <laughs> that was so bizarre. You just take what you want and you leave. It's so interesting. I got us a cookie each. And so, does it uh, charge it on your I account? I think so, I assume so. Shall I have a look? I honestly didn't scan anything. I literally just scanned my QR codes. How does it know you've got these ones? I don't know. <laughs> That's just so bizarre. You just walk in, scan your know account. You take it off the shelf. Yeah, maybe, the, the way. The but then how does it know who's taken what? But then you could have put one back again. I don't know. So in summary, we don't know how the hell I've paid for cookies, but hopefully I have, um, because they did say thank you when I left. <laughs> so who knows about Amazon Fresh, but let me know if you've tried it. Editing me, just interjecting as I filmed a whole clip, but I actually revealed quite a few of my personal details in the order summary. So I won't show you that. I'll show you an edited copy here. But as you can see, they had the cookies listed and also a random bag of crisps, which I obviously didn't take. So in the app, you can actually tell them anything that you didn't take. And because they had a £10 offer on that I had no idea about, even though watching back the footage, there are clearly signs out the front, you got £10 off your 
first shot, but obviously just got the cookies and it just charged my account and showed up in my Amazon app. Very, very clever and very interesting. We've just walked down to Regent's Park. I'm gonna show you this map because Regent's Park is huge. Oh my God. Yeah, it's huge. So we're there and Amazing. you can go on the boating lake and you could spend hours here. yeah the zoo is up there that takes up a huge part benji and i've been here before and it's just a really beautiful part of london really so should we go towards queen mary's garden or yeah, we yeah. can go so, so we if we go, go up to... chester road towards well, we're here so we need to go down there i'm guessing to go down and there and cross over and it's gone right around oh, my legs yep <laughs> Lovely, look at her, <laughs> jumping. jumping up for the birds in the trees. <laughs> anyway, she's having a good old run. Is this fun? I'm not sure if we're going on holiday or we're taking you on holiday, but either way, <laughs> whatever. She's definitely being taken on holiday, <laughs> yeah, I think. for sure. So we're leaving Regent's Park. Everyone's had a nice walk, including this one. And it's a 15 minute walk back to the hotel. It's quarter past two now, so hopefully we can maybe check in if not, we'll just grab a drink in the um, cafe. I'm gonna give you a little tour first. Oops. Okay. Whoop. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Does it do the lights? No, I think it's just a switch. Okay. All right. So immediately we are. We've been upgraded into a suite. First of all, straight away, we have a little lounge, which is, well, pretty impressive. Okay. Won't be a minute, Mum. Won't be a minute. I'm gonna show you first before Bonnie comes in. Oh my God, this is absolutely adorable. Oh, look at the dog stuff they've put out for Bonnie. Oh, I wish I'd known that there was gonna be bowls actually because I have bought my own, but never mind. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Mama is gonna absolutely love this. Okay, and then around here, I'm assuming we, oh, it's a little Paddington bear. Please look after this bear, thank you. Oh wow, look at all the details. And then bathroom, oh my gosh, look at this. Lovely big bathroom and shower. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. And a nice little wardrobe and robes, oh my gosh. Look at all these details. Oh wow, so we've got a mini fridge, tea and coffee. Good, good, good. Loads of storage space and drawers, which I love. Another big TV in here. Oh my God, it's absolutely stunning. Wowee. She's getting a little Instagram story <laughs> in. She's picked the music as treehouse music. <laughs> Bonnie's had one of the treats that they gave her. I'm not sure who likes Instagram stories more, you or me. We've had to listen to this treehouse <laughs> a hundred times. Um, this is so cute. This is really, really cute here. Oh, I'm exhausted now we're in. Whew. I might put my pyjamas on, make a cup of tea. She actually said that there was water, a water station, so I might try and go and get us some. Um, I've already given more water to Bonnie, obviously. I've got Bonnie with me. <laughs> Good girl. And I think there's a little water station down here. Yes, this looks promising. Here we go. Filtered water, wave at me. So we're just chilling in bed. Mum's had a little nap, she's awake now, so I can talk to you and Bonnie's just had some dinner and I wanted to show you I've just been flicking through Cosmo and you can save uh, bookmark pages so I really want to revisit this to save um, concealers and so I can do that and put concealers in there save that page and then my lovely friend Grace is actually featured um, in here so I've just read her article which was really amazing but I love having it like this so I can flick through it it's just so easy you can like zoom in and I've just been showing mum like a couple of things in the magazines it's just such a great app I really do love Readly I really encourage you to give it a go especially with the six weeks for free um, but this edition of Cosmo is celebrating 50 years of the magazine so it was a really good one but yeah I think we're actually going to take a little break now though from chilling we've been watching trashy telly it has been so lovely to just chill and relax not do an awful lot we're both under the covers just in our pajamas but we're gonna put our jeans back on and go upstairs they have a couple of restaurants here um one of them next to the reception they don't allow dogs in but the nest which is more of like a bar light bites sort of vibe they let dogs in up until 6 p.m so it's currently five past four so we're gonna take money back downstairs 
to the ground floor. They don't, well, I didn't ask, but I don't think they have anywhere, like, outdoor space to take dogs. Although we could, they might do upstairs. They might have a balcony, Mum. Upstairs, on the roof. But I wouldn't really want her to do any business on the balcony anyway, to be honest. We'll take her outside. Yeah, we'll take her outside and then we'll go upstairs, have a little look at what that's like, maybe grab a little drink. And then I think we'll end up just chilling in here, having some room service. But I'll show you what we end up doing. Um, so I'm going to put my iPad away, put my clothes back on, <laughs> and we'll go up to the nest. So we came outside and the intention was just to walk Bonnie. And uh, then I remember my mum really wants a pair of Lululemon leggings like me. And she keeps asking me about sizing. But I will say with the size in Lululemon, it's Canadian sizing, I believe. But I'm a size UK 16, but I buy a size 8 in my Align HR leggings. Anyway, the point is, is that I'm really not 100% sure what size she'll want, what style, if she wants pockets, that kind of thing. So I said to her, next time we're in London, we'll pop into the shop. And I just remembered, it just came into my head. So it was a 12 minute walk to the nearest Lululemon. But on the way, um, we were passing H&M Home, which is an absolutely beautiful store. Everything's really affordable and it's just a lovely place to browse. I haven't asked if they let dogs in. Um, I'm just not gonna bother. So she's just having a little look in. All right, so we're looking at the leggings and they do let dogs in here. And they even had a little water bowl at the, at the front, didn't they? And we met a lovely viewer called Beth outside H&M. We found Mum's leggings. She's buying exactly the same ones as me, the Align HRs. They are the best. I'm a UK 16 and I buy an 8. Mum is a UK 14, so she's going for the 6, which makes total sense because that's exactly what I did. If you want to buy Lululemon leggings, they're a huge investment because they're really expensive. They're £88 for a pair of the plain black line ones anyway. They do loads of different ones. But it was my friends Georgie and Bianca that got me into Lululemon and I've never looked back. I think they're amazing. I wear mine every single day, basically. Um, I own two pairs of black ones now. So we've tried all the different options. <laughs> and they let dogs in, which is just, you know, win, win, win. But she's buying a pair. Okay, so this is the nest. Very beautiful. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so cozy. This is a really cute little bar. <laughs> You've got your torch out. It's quite dark, isn't it? I can't see the woods. Oh, I've lost. Uh, no, you're right. It's too, too dark to see. <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, I've lost my dog. <laughs> done. Bonnie, darling. Bonnie, come here, please. Thank you. Could you sit down, please? Thank you. Good girl. I've popped some lights on now, so it's a bit brighter, but it's really, really pretty in here. They've closed the terrace, so we can't look out there, but I just thought I'd show you what it looked like. All right, we ordered Deliveroo. And we've got pasta evangelis and it's a wild mushroom ravi ravioli. So we're just eating this in bed. <laughs> got a little bit of wine, got a bit of bread. <laughs> Cheers. So we got a free little pudding with our dinner. Little, dinner I mean little. <laughs> it's teeny. I mean, literally, <laughs> how small I can actually put the whole thing. <laughs> that is how small it is. I really, I mean it was I mean, free. it is teeny tiny. It's less than 100 but, calories. I was going to say, the smaller it is, the less calories there are. Oh my god. Let me have I a mean, look, you've got a bit of green. Have I got... Uh, you got a little bit of um. Oh dear! I got some of the light <laughs> lemon sauce. Lemon on me. sauce. How that was really nice though. That was delicious. It was. I do recommend. We don't. Do we have them as a delivery service down where we are? We don't, do we? No. And also, you can't just order one-offs anymore. You have to be a subscriber. Well, that's quite it's handy. It's in London then. Mm, yeah. Um, but dinner was really nice. The nest upstairs was nice, but the menu was really overly complicated. We didn't like any of the food, and all the cocktails were like. They well, were very strange. They were. <laughs> they there were was strange. nothing normal. There was not one normal cocktail. There was nothing egg white like, in loads of them. I was nothing like, nothing oh. I recognised either. They no, were me neither. All bizarre. Not even on their classic list no. was there anything <laughs> normal. <laughs> so we had a lemonade and a coffee just because we wanted strange. to sit up there, but they lost out on our business. We just didn't like it. it just very odd. But I'm actually this is suiting me quite nicely actually. Just sitting in bed watching some telly and eating our little teeny tiny pudding pot, so. I mean, is this really bad? Because we're in London, we should be like raving it. <laughs> We've got a dog. Well, true. <laughs> I mean, you could get doled up and go out if you want. This is my idea of a good night. <laughs> what are you on about? I'm quite happy in bed. I've been doing my magazine, reading Readly. I've been, you know, playing yeah. with Bonnie. She's wagging a little tail down there. I can see her in the reflection. She's got a toy on the floor. Um, right, I can't do this one-handed, so I'm going to enjoy this, watch some telly, and we'll update you when we've actually achieved anything interesting. 
Okay, I'm in my pyjamas. We've been out and walked Bonnie. She's in the bed that they provided and she's sleeping, so that's good. And I just thought I'd mention that there was no hot water coming through. So I've just had to wash my face with like, like the lukewarm, it's not even warm. It's, and I'm not gonna call someone up right now. So maybe hopefully it will be warm in the morning. I had a shower in the morning and the hot water was back, which is great. But I just thought I'd mention it, but this is a really lovely bathroom. The lighting's nice. I appreciate like a nice big mirror. It's funny because the more hotels I stay in, the more I'm like, Picky on stuff like this, I really like it. I love that there's loads of space here to put your bits. Flannels are good. There's a few things in here, just in case you're interested. So we've got cotton bits and buttons, which I'm assuming is just like a sewing kit and a shower cap. And um, the hand wash is really nice. I don't tend to use lotion after I wash my hands, but um, should we try it? Should we see what it smells like? Hmm, hang on, let's see. Oh, actually it's nice. No, it's really nice. Hold on, let me put it down. Nice lotion. Um, there's also shampoo, conditioner, and body wash in the shower. There is a, a razor plug. Um, so yeah, you've got everything you can need really. There's hooks, the towels. It's a very lovely bathroom really. So yeah, I've done my skincare. Glossier Birthday Balm .com lip balm is my fave. I've got a mini Tangle Teaser wet brush. <laughs> I've got my wild deodorant, I've got Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish, little mini one, Clinique Moisture Surge, and also a face halo to remove my makeup, and I've just told my mum she needs to order some of these and use these. We're going to go to bed, it's about half past nine, <laughs> it's quite early, and have a nice day, have a nice evening, and I'll carry on vlogging tomorrow for you, and give you a final wrap up of the hotel and whatnot, but um, yeah. See you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is almost nine o'clock and I've taken Bonnie outside. She's had her breakfast, she's had a little cuddle. She was such a good girl, just so, so good. I slept pretty well, but mum slept really bad because she's a light sleeper. Apparently there were loads of noises, so you could hear everything outside, upstairs. Everywhere, and those everywhere. glass doors were rattling. I don't know with why, the, but they were moving. With the, I think it was just with the air in the, like the pressure of the air with the air con, I don't know, but they but were they making were them banging. rattling and I just such a light sleeper, so I didn't get to sleep till. Oh, that's such a shame. But no, nothing wrong with the bed. I mean, if it, um, I think it's because we had the doors closed and had Bonnie in the little lounge area. We did, we home. separated her because we thought that she would um, sleep better there basically. And um, yeah, she was in her bed. She slept in this little bed. She was as good as gold. <laughs> as good as gold. Um, me, I was the <laughs> I didn't hear you. You didn't bother me. Mm. I'm just sad for you that you didn't sleep very well. But it's something worth noting, I guess, if you wanted to stay here. If you're a really light sleeper, that might be something that you want to consider. Um, maybe they need better soundproofing, but there's double glazing on the windows, so I'm not really sure why. Um, well, out, I looked out the window, and where we're particularly located, down there, is all of the bins and they were like if you look down there oh. there's all the bins oh yeah you're and right. i could hear all the bottles being put in there last night but anyway so nine o'clock our train leaves at 11 we're going to walk to waterloo it's about a 45 minute walk by the time we get there stop on the way and pick up some sort of croissant or coffee or something so we're just around the corner of piccadilly circus and we've come to cafe concerto and they've got a nice little outside seating and they've put the heater on for us as well and the menu just looks really nice. It's quite simple, there's not a lot on it, but everything is something we would eat. So they have like salmon, eggs, poached eggs, full English. And then they also have porridge, which looks like nice. Oh, they do pancakes. What hot drinks they have. Oh, they have a proper hot chocolate, iced cafe mocha. And just in case you're wondering how we're navigating this, we've set up Bonnie's bed once again in between us. She's nice and cozy in here. Sometimes it's cold on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the heater up here. She's not having my coat today. No, not today. But she can sit down there nicely, can't you? Good girl. You stay there. Good girl. So I got an iced coffee, but look at that. Oh, you got a nice so hot nice. chocolate, right? It's huge. I'm going to try this. <laughs> that is divine. It's oat milk and vanilla, although I've got cream on here. 
but that's fine. Our breakfast is here. All right, so we've got scrambled egg and smoked salmon. Mum's just got plain scrambled egg and a croissant. And we're just watching the world go by. All right, so this was the cafe right here on the corner. And we just wanted to quickly show you the cakes because it was a really lovely breakfast. It came to £43, including a service charge for us both. And that was both our breakfast, both the drinks and the croissant. So definitely a little bit pricey, but that's what you sort of pay for being very central London. And they also do afternoon tea. The two is £55.95, which is not too bad really for a really beautiful um, selection of cakes and things. So yeah, I just thought to show you how lovely Sorry, it's very loud, but how lovely it all looked. Really, really nice. Just what we needed. We had a little heater, because we knew we had to sit outside. I mean, I could have found us somewhere dog-friendly for brunch, but we're on the way to Waterloo. Yeah, so it's now 10 o'clock. It's a 25-minute walk, so that is perfect, timing-wise. We'll get there about half 10-ish, and the train leaves at 11, so plenty of time. We're just walking through Trafalgar Square. I just thought I'd try and get a picture of Bonnie sat here, because it's so lovely. We're shopping, browsing, like that, yeah, for me. Lovely material. I love, I love, I love Oliver Bonus clothes. They've got a little sale. Well. Oh, should I try it on? We have time. But we very kindly asked the manager and um, she said yes to bring a Bonnie in. And they all said hello to us. So with bringing dogs in shops, I think it's just a case of just asking nicely. And if you have a well-behaved dog, um, then they don't mind. Like it's nice and quiet in here. Jump over the top. Yeah, that's cute. She loves shopping, look. Really nice. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd show you how lovely it is in here. They've redone it, actually. It's really nice. Dog things? Oh. Oh, Bonnie, look at these pretty things. Oh, wow. That is pretty. Look at this very good little baby sleeping. Okay, so we're just on our journey back home, and I've just connected to my... Um, hotspot so I can have a little look at everything but I think I'm going to dip into Happy Fool because this is one of my favourites, it's a mental health and wellbeing magazine and as you can see I've read quite a lot of these so I'm going to go into January, I'm two behind at the moment and have a little flick through this I absolutely love it as you can see it's clearly night time, the evening, it's actually almost 9pm and this afternoon I walked Bonnie, made myself some dinner, I've been working and I had a nice hot bath and I uploaded a new video so it's just been a really lovely afternoon but it feels really sad to be home, I had a lovely lovely trip with my mum to London and the next video you see should hopefully be another little trip to Brighton so hopefully you enjoy these little city break videos um we're just going on a day trip down there at the weekend so keep your eye out for that and make sure you're following me over on instagram so you can see what i get up to in the meanwhile and another big thank you to readly for sponsoring this vlog like i said if you want six weeks for free to check it out give it a go and have a little flick through some magazines whether that's in your downtime at home or on your travels if you're going away this year then do check it out 9.99 a month but you can cancel at any time so that exclusive link will be below and just a big thank you for watching this vlog and thank you to my mum for coming with me. I really, really enjoyed our little staycation. I have actually also written a full review of the hotel with some more photos and stuff over on my new blog, which I also just want to say a big thank you for all your support over there. I wrote a post on going to the cinema solo and I've also just shared this post as well. So do check that out. And yeah, that's all from me. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thanks for watching. See you soon.